Best Brawler to win in Solo Showdown Dark Passage, Boo Edition, let's go! So basically, I've recorded a lot of Shelly videos and also a lot of Nita videos. So today would be a new rotation which is about Boo. So just to increase the variations and uh, getting more and more brawlers out there on the same map so you guys can have different choices to make. And yep. Basically for Boo, I would say that it's quite a solid starting brawler. The damage is really, really good. And um, I would... I would say that I, I I would play Boo in a more active way. So um Okay, I would do this. There we go and get this power up. Okay, dodged all the um all the shots. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here and for Boo normally I would stay in a more active position like this and just strike whenever I can so now I've got four power-ups and yep so far so good There we go, so we have got one kill right there. I'm gonna save up the last healing site feature right here. Okay, I think one more shot to get the... Okay, there we go, we have got the ultimate power right here. Let's go. There we go. Oh my god, I should have pressed the healing side feature a little bit longer, but that's what we get. So rank number 2 right here, we're gonna go to the second round now. And by the way, feel free to subscribe as I'm trying to record every single day on Brawl Stars content. And if you guys are just searching for the best brawlers on different maps, you can just search the keyword on my channel, like for example, Double Trouble, Cave and Churn, or even Fist or Famine, or any of these solo showdown uh, maps. I would have recorded at least three videos on these maps so if you guys are into those brawlers instead just search the keyword on my channel that would do and again i'm gonna use the plan as last time so using boo to rush forward and get the power right here okay okay dynamite is there so surprisingly, I'm gonna act a little bit passive for this round. So I'm just gonna move around. I'm still gonna move around. There's a lot of movements involved in Boo cause you're gonna use the side feature. There we go. So I'm in the top five right now. So far so good. Gonna do this. There we go, got dynamite right there. So normally you need to find a position where you think that everyone will hide in that position and you just hide in that, that place for like about the whole round. And I'm just gonna stay here cause this is considered the center. And once he just comes here, I'm gonna rush forward. Oh my God. There we go guys, we have got top one right here. Really, really nice. So really good two rounds right here. So I'm gonna go for the final round. And yeah, once again, thank you uh, for all of your support as um, I'm getting a lot of views uh, in terms of my channel size. So I've got like 51 subscribers for now, but um, the views just keeps coming in passively. So really, really thank you guys for your support. Really appreciate it. So final round, let's go. I'm going to get this and also getting this. Okay, let's go. So I'm gonna stay away from Stu as he's a really really annoying um, I would say mid-range brawler but his movement is really really flexible so I'm just gonna stay away from that
Okay, there we go. So what you need to do is to create chaos and finish off the chaos, if you know what I mean. So if you see people in a fight, go nearer and nearer until that the two have a really really low HP and just blast out the shots right there like what I did just now. Okay, there we go. One kill, another, another kill once again. So I'm gonna go here. Okay. Let's go then. There we go guys, we've got two number ones in the same video right here. Let's go. So as you guys can see here, really really solid brawler choice in solo shoot on Dark Passage for Boo. And basically this will be the video guys. Comment down below what the other brawlers you are using in solo shoot on Dark Passage. And also subscribe for similar content like this. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace out.